ओके अलकुम आई एम शहबाज हुसैन सो द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज पाई चार्ट फीलिंग आई एम हंगरी हैव अ स्लाइस ऑफ पाई सो जस्ट वी आर गोइंग टू मूव फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन टू द पाई चार्ट वट इज पाई चार्ट राइट सो पाई चार्ट आर द स्पेसिफिक टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा प्रजेंटेशन विद द डेटा इज रिप्रजेंटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सर्कल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सर्कल सो एनी टाइप ऑफ डेटा विच वी कैन रिप्रजेंट इन द सर्कल इज कॉल्ड पाई चार्ट इन द पाई चार्ट सर्कल इज डिवाइडेड इन टू वेरियस सेक्शन और सेगमेंट्स सच दैट ईच सेक्टर और सेगमेंट रिप्रजेंट अ सर्टन प्रपोर्शन और परसेंटेज ऑफ द टोटल सो ईच सेगमेंट ईच पाए is basically represent the certain type of data if you say that 20% of uh, the population of faisalabad is represented by red color and the 30% of the population of lahore is represented by blue color and all that so overall 360 degrees in the circle is divided into certain parts which we call the sections or segments so move on in a such diagram the total of all the given items is equated to 6 360 degrees and the degrees of angles representing different items the entire diagram looks like a pie and its components resemble slices cut from a pie the pie chart is used to show the break up of one continuous variable into its components part so each pie is the representation of the components of the data so every degree in the 360 degrees is represented represent the data of certain type of examples certain type of variations so if we have a different type of data is like if we have 500 students the 20% of students are willing to study english the 30% of students are willing to a study urdu and the 40% is willing to study science and all that so we can manage all these students 500 students in the pie by dividing the 360 degrees into percentages so how we can use this methodology to convert any type of data into 360 degree we move on to example so the pie chart below shows the percentages of type of transportation used by 800 students to come to school so this di- this diagram shows the percentage of the students which are coming to the school by any source of transportation so you can see that 10% of the students are using the car to come to school and 45% bicycle 30% bus and 15% are coming by walking to the school so this is the example so now we are going to calculate the number of students which are coming to school by car which are coming to school by bicycle which are coming to school by bus or which are coming to school by walking so further we have a first part is how many students in the school come in the school come to school by bicycle so how many students so uh, in the previous slide you see that 45% of 800 uh, students 45% of the students are coming with the bicycle so 45% of total so 45% of total means 45 divided by 100 multiply by 8 so if you simply multiply 45 to 8 it becomes 360 students which are coming to school by bicycle so next how many students do not walk to school he say that how many students do not walk so you see that uh, there are 15% students who are walking uh, towards school so if we subtract from the 100% we remaining one is the 85% of the total students which do not walk to school so 85% multiply by 100 so 85 over 100 into 800 so 100 double two zeros of the division uh, in the divi- in the divider is is cancel out with the 
and you can simply multiply 85 to 8 it becomes 680 students which do not walk to school and the next one is C part how many students come to school by bus or in a car so total students by bus is 30% and the total students by car is 10% so total percentage is becomes 40% <clears throat> so 40% of 800 is simply uh, 8 fours are 32 it's 320 students which are coming to school by bus or a car so it's a simple simple example how we can represent the data into pie chart so it is or how to get the number of students or number of anything from the pie chart we can calculate by solving this method so for the next one further uh, further one uh, we are going to upload the worksheets for the homework and the representation of the classwork will be uploaded soon thank you so much